Um, right. So, oh, yes. So, so what's never going to happen? So we're talking human achievement. And, yes. and the most, uh, this is a very beautiful human achievement. Nadia Comaneci. Oh, um, yeah. So this is not even a Nobel Prize. No, no. This is a human achievement. But you do, you do get a medal. Very much so. Mm. This was, and it's, it's a special thing because you've been to the city of Montreal, hey? No, no, I've you never been, been to, to Montreal. I've never I been to Canada. Said... No, I've never been to Canada. I, I um, you know Poutine. That's like come on now. You I know do. Poutine. I do know Poutine. That's right from the food episode. But I, I haven't, I haven't oh, been to, I haven't been to Canada because oh. they still, they still worship the Queen. I won't go to any country where the Queen is the official head of state unless it is England. Then I forgive you if you're actually <laughs> England. But if you're still supporting the monarch, even though you're Canada or Australia, members of the con- Commonwealth. No, I mean, we're a member of the Commonwealth, yes. but, but the Queen isn't the head of South African state. You know, you're allowed to, yeah, the Commonwealth, they're a little bit desperate, you know. They're, they're desperate for that wealth from the common, to the point that they'll allow you to disrespect their Queen. And that's what I want. I want Canada to abandon her, her Queen, Her Majesty, yeah. take her off the money. It was the House of Lords, even, in the Canadian right, Parliament. I've right. been there. Yeah, I've yeah. been to the Canadian Parliament. House of Commons, House of Lords. Yeah, no, they're... Yes. they're, they're queen f- has the right to veto. Yeah, they're a filthy people. Canadians jump in the comment section. <laughs> Tell me how much you hate me. Um, no, okay, all right. So no, I haven't been to Montreal. Oh, I thought you did, but yeah. I thought because you knew Poutine so well. So it's I haven't travelled much at all, but I did after matric go to visit uh, family in Montreal for two months. I know Montreal hmm. from when I was eighteen, and uh, it was the Montreal Olympic Games, nineteen seventy six. Nadia Comaneci from Romania. Uh, scored the world's first ever perfect 10 in gymnastics on a, on a routine. It's been done since. But she was the first. And the um, routine that she did it with, here's my fact, was the uneven bars. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. If I, uh, How would you know if I seem to right remember. What I've, I've, I mean, I've, I think I watched it, I think. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's... Yeah, I, not, think not live, I, I, I think it's Two the uneven bars. I think it's the uneven bars. Is it the is it the vault? I can't. You see, the thing is, gymnasts perform at all of those things. They do. So mm. they do. But yeah, my my initial instinct was that it was was on the on the uneven bars. I when you were talking about it, I was imagining it on the uneven bars. Um, I could be wrong. I, I, yeah. Now, now you got me doubting myself, Ryan. Congratulations. Because you know me, I could just, I could just say, no, it wasn't uneven bars. It was the but you see horse. The, but you see how gymnastics has, has come along since then. You know, like what you had to do then to get a perfect ten versus what you have to do now to get a perfect ten. It's, it's a different sport. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I think it was uneven bars. I, I can't. That's the one where it's the two bars and then they, they're they swing uneven. around. They're uneven. Yeah, yes. and then they swing around and they. Yes. They twist and turn in the... Yeah, no, I uh, think it was. Well, yes, you're right. I wasn't uh, lying this time. It, it was the uneven bars. And I've I've been to um, the ice hockey uh, center in... It's, it's called the, the, the Molson Center. It changed. But it used to be the Forum. That's where the Montreal Canadiens... I, have their, I usually wear their shirt that's in the my worst, comedy. That's the worst sports team name in the whole world. The it's Montreal Canadiens. It's like the... The, the local Johannesburg rugby team is called the Johannesburg South, South Africans. Africans. Yeah, <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's rather silly. It's very, very silly. And so, but they got a lovely kit. And in the 80s, they Hang were on, awesome. I'm not, I'm not done with this. I've, I've got some moaning to awesome. do. It's like when you name your football team Cape Town City. It can't be a town and a city at the same time. Cape Town City is the worst football team name in the history of the world. What are they doing? What are they doing? I've never thought of it. What like do they that? get their shit together? Cape Town City. Like you could, you could have named it anything you liked, anything at all, Cape except Town Cape Wonders, Town City. Cape Town United. Cape Town Rovers. Cape Town Spurs. Rangers. Cape Town United. Cape Town. Doesn't matter. Cape Town City. Only one that's stupid. Congratulations, whoever did that. You're a moron. If you are his family, please jump in the comments. Tell me how much you hate me. Might have been Benny McCarthy. No, I don't, all th- I don't think Benny United McCarthy. Which means all Manchester United fans are now part of the hate <laughs> club. I don't think Benny McCarthy would make that sort of mistake. <laughs> Benny McCarthy is, uh, is he's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, he goes to Man United. He's there like three days and they beat Liverpool. Wow. You know? yeah. What a surprise result, my goodness me. Anyway, we're, we're dating this now. Yes, okay, so Nadia, what else do I have to say about her? She's, um, yeah, why that'll never happen again. Uh, she was the youngest to ever, you know, get a goal, a uh, perfect 10 or whatever, is because now it's 16 is the age. Oh, right. And she was 14, 14 when she did yeah. that. And, uh, yeah, she ended up um, 
marrying, I think, an American dude, has dual citizenship. That year or? No, no, no. <laughs> Much <awesome>. later. <laughs> no, Much. but there's a chap in later on who gets married very young in my facts. But uh, what else about Nadia? Yes, and then she's quite a looker. You know, mm-hmm. Even as a adult lady now, she's very, they've got a kid and she's uh, done a lot of she, she'd be good work for 1976, you said. Mm, 14 so, in 1976. So 1962 is when she was born. So she's she's 17 years old and she's 60 now, right? No, she's still a looker. Uh, you know, I think that's a sign that you're getting old. Is it? Yeah, is when you're like, hmm, retirement age chicks. <laughs> I see, okay. Olivia Newton John was all right before she showed Yeah, and shamed. the next step is dead people, Ryan, and now we're, <laughs> <laughs> now no. we're doing callbacks. And, oh, okay, so at the um, ice hockey place, uh, the forum, uh, mm. when you go there, when I went there, then there was a massive, massive, like, giant blow-up photograph on the side of the, the forum as you're walking in. Um, and you see the kind of side wall of the thing, yeah. and it's the photo of her, like, in mid-flight, jumping oh. from the one bar to the other. And it's a beautiful, blown-up photo because it happened at that place. Right, um, okay. So, yeah, special, special. And they've even named a section of Olympic Park, which is their big stadium, the, Nad- the I don't know what, the, the Nadia Corner or Comaneci Park or plus the Comaneci or plus the Nadia, something something cool like that. So, yeah, Montreal. Just, well, and Nadia, all you, have to, all you have to do is train for 13 years of your life. Yeah. I mean, at most – tops and then pull off a perfect 10 at the olympics and that's what you get for the rest of your life Pff, easy and omega easy. the watch the, the stopwatch people they built a little scoreboard you know, and there was the funny thing is they didn't know people could get a perfect 10 so they had only two one decimal place that side of the comma so it was the judges went one Ooh, and then one like, huh? one she got one for that per- oh, was like, no, uh, perfect then they announced perfect Got a ten, perfect ten. Wow. Okay. That's mm. oh, that's amazing. That's really that really is cool. beautiful. But wow. I think uh, you know, I was just thinking about it now, sort of extending my thought. I think it probably is easier to win an Olympic medal than it is to win a Nobel Prize, right? Because you, 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 the amount of effort. Like some of the people who, who, who win Nobel prizes are like eighty years old and they put their whole life into their science and then they win it. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, that must be true. Then it must be true that it's harder to win a Nobel Prize than it is to win, to win an Olympic gold. Until I thought of Malala Yousafzai. Who effectively got got shot on a bus, oh. and then didn't let that deter her from fighting for for education for women. But she was like twelve years old. Jeez. Yeah. Like I mean, if she was to put in the same effort as an Olympic gold medalist, she'd have to get shot in the head once every week. You know, <laughs> like that's for like eighteen years. You know, that's what that's the so so yeah. These things are very difficult to kind of work out. What yeah. sort of effort? Um, you have to put in to to win these things. So what is what is what is a medal? Do you, off the top of your head, know what a medal is worth at the Olympics? No, like as in yeah, like the how gold. much does it weigh? How much is a gold medal? Is it? I mean, it it used to be solid gold. Is it yes. still solid gold? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes, I I think so. Yes, I know in Japan they made it out of recycled kind of phone and technology parts. Seriously? Well, I mean they they took out of recycled things they took enough gold to make the gold medals and they took enough silver out of out of recycled technology to make oh, the silver see. medals etc etc et yeah. right yeah that's very different oh at the end of the day gold is gold eh? <laughs> <laughs> but you can get a good good price for that well you're, you're like a zama zama or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like weigh it. Go home and see how much it costs. I hope South Africa's I bet you, I bet you South African that the, you fly in with your gold medal from the Olympics. The South Africans are like, You didn't have that when you left, did you? No? You take it to did you declare it? It's like eight million rand. You owe us tax for <laughs> you know, I bet you. <laughs> but that's how that works. You have to you have to pay twenty five percent tax on that. You owe us one point two million dollars, you can't enter the country. Because security didn't watch the Olympic Games. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they they do make you declare your cameras. You're supposed to declare your cameras and your laptops and things when you leave the country. And then when you come back in, if they find you with a laptop that you haven't declared, they're like, oh, you bought that overseas. You have to pay import duty. So I'm feeling that's maybe the same with the medal.